welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. If it's your first time here, my name is Trish. I am an ambulatory wheelchair user and I use this channel to show you what my day-to-day -day life is like. Today we are going to talk Cedar Point again because I am getting so excited. Cedar Point actually opens this weekend, but we will not be attending this weekend. We will be headed there soon though. I can't wait to show you the new roller coaster, the new food. I'm just so excited. Today I wanted to jump on here real quick and talk about how we save money at Cedar Point. I get asked a lot how we go to Cedar Point so much because we do not live that close. Uh, I think it's like two hours, two and a half hours, something like that, but it's not like a short drive. Sometimes we stay overnight, sometimes we don't, but we are season pass holders. So that is the first way we save money. Every year, uh, end of August, beginning of September, I believe, you can get a $99 season pass. And not only will that get you in the next year, but it'll get you in for the rest of the season and hello weekends. And that is how we started. Uh, 2021, I was scrolling through Facebook and I saw that deal and I'm like, oh, I can't pass that up. We actually had season passes at Waldemere at that point, and we were going to do one more year at Waldemere, but for the price, $99 a person, which is with fees and taxes, about $350 for my family of three, under $400 for sure. I couldn't pass it up. That's such a good deal. Now, if you miss that and still want to get season passes, it's not too late. They currently have a summer pass for $105 advertised on their website, and that will not get you into Cedar Shores, but it will get you into Cedar Point for the regular operating season. That pass does include free parking, which is a huge saving because parking is like $25. As of right now, when you buy your tickets online, just one day is $50. So if you get one of the $99 passes in the fall, if you go two times, you have more than paid yourself back. You've made it worth it because you've got your entry and then you've got the parking. We have the gold pass. So if you would like to buy that right now, that would cost $140. So if you are eyeing up the gold pass or any pass really, I'm not gonna go over all the pass prices because there's several of them. There's Platinum, there's Prestige. I really wanted Platinum this year, but we couldn't justify it. Definitely get it the year before because that is your best value. But if you're watching this now, you may be uh, maybe just now considering a pass. So it's not too late. You can still get your money back. You'd have to visit three days instead of two, but that is okay. Uh, even living so far away, we'll visit at least five times, hopefully more. And we'll go to Hello Weekends too. That was a lot of fun. The second way we save money is by purchasing the dining plan. Now there's several different options for dining plans. Our preference is not to get the all season dining. The all season dining can be put on a season pass and it is $105 a person. That is not what we do. A lot of people love it. Sometimes we take rather short trips to Cedar Point. Like sometimes we're only there for like three and a half hours. So in that case, we eat on the way there and eat on the way back. We don't eat while we're in the park. So what we do is when we're going to be there all day, we get the premium all day dining plan. That is $44.99, so $45. And it can feed me and my husband. And sometimes it feeds me, my husband, and our six-year-old. Now, take this with a grain of sand because my six-year-old doesn't like to eat in public. There's just too much going on. She's looking around. She can't concentrate on eating her food. Uh, and I have a stomach condition, so especially this year, I can't eat much at all. But I do feel like it can easily feed two people because you can eat every 90 minutes. So you can get a meal or a snack every 90 minutes, and you can also get a drink like every 15 minutes, and it's just an exceptional value. The first video of the year that I'll be making here in a few weeks, I will show you it in action and show you lots of yummy treats. But you can look back. I'll link a few videos. 
I'll link the video I did last year though so you can see it. Uh, I think the price is the same this year from last year, which is great because everything else has gone up. I'd say we usually get at least $70 to $80 worth of food out of our premium pass. So it is a great way to save money. So that is definitely something I recommend. And the last way that we save money, which this one might be stretching it because we're spending money that we didn't need to spend, but being a season pass holder brings hotel discounts. So we don't have to stay the night. We live within driving distance, but at the end of a long day, you're tired. It's easier to get a hotel and go to the park an extra day. So we do that several times a summer. The website says you get up to 10% and that there are uh, only a limited number of these rooms. Several months ago, I put in the code and was able to get a room at Sawmill Creek for just over $150 with fees. So that is another way that the past can save you money. We have gotten discounts at the Express Hotel and Castaway Bay. I was a little disappointed in Castaway Bay, but other than that, I generally have a good experience at Cedar Point owned hotels. I'd love to hear in the comments if you uh, frequent Cedar Point or really any theme park, how do you save money? I am always looking for new things to try. If you are new here, don't forget to hit subscribe. Soon the channel will be filled with summer fun like theme parks and so much more. I have so many things I want to share with you all. For now, it is time for me to go and I'll see you soon.